At Chesterler Street, we were looking for Scotland, the really brave. The part-timers had been gutsy enough against Australia, but today Scotland took on Pakistan and the fastest bowler in the world, Shoaib Akhtar. Similar pedigree but less pace, as in Bat, born in Lahore, he'd be Scotland's main weapon. But it was the strength of the fortifications that was Scotland's main concern. Pakistan against Scotland, Goliath against David, coming right up. The daunting task of facing the pace of Shoaib Akhtar would have to wait because Scotland's captain George Salmond won the toss and put Pakistan in. That's well bowled. Streaky runs. Should be out. No ball called. What an escape. Beautiful delivery, nicely caught. And then the, uh, the ultimate dread, the extended right-hand no ball. One good delivery here. Pitches well outside the off stump. And where follows it, straight into Brinkley's hands, a second slip. And look at the disappointment on Asim Butt's face. But then that happened, you see. He pushed it over to try and fetch it back. The angle was too much. The ball didn't swing. And uh, the width was all that Shahid Afridi was looking for. This hits is close, yeah. now that must be close, must be close, they think they've got him. And I'm sure we're going to see that Afridi is run out, he's going to be very disappointed with that. What a good bit of fielding. Out by a long way. A long way out. Stanger and what a start to the competition for him. Not good news for Afridi, but uh, really that was just a matter if he'd hit, he was out. First wicket because uh, Stanger, dead eye from short mid wicket, is uh, out by a good couple of feet. All swung more than seemed today, but. Uh, Oh, Scotland haven't bowled that that accurately. There's another no ball now. A score of 34, and we're only in the eighth over. And really, this should have been greater trouble for the batsmen. They should have been put under more pressure than this. And had Scotland bowled as a unit, as effectively as they did against Australia, then you have the thought that they may well have nicked another wicket or so. run rate of four and a half and over boosted by the extras which are 18 oh, yeah! thinks he's got him and has well that is the sort of wicket really that Asim Butt has been threatening to get against the left-handed side and well right from the first over he's bowled he hadn't caught a slip off a no ball and a similar type of delivery a beautiful late away swinger that'll make him a happy man now Downward pushes forward, quite a wide delivery. And he gets the nick and straight through to Alex Davis. So Downward out for, for six of 24 balls. Maybe five for two. Like that. He really has got it going well and um, <coughs> the threat to anybody. And that would have been a tonic. It has pitched on. Oh, oh, I was going to say it done too much, but uh, it did an awful lot. But look where Insaman's foot is, it's on middle and off, and that's the danger spot for any right hand batsman. Well, this is close, this is very close. Ian Robinson taking a long time to make that decision, thought long and hard about it. It's a good shout, it's pitched outside, he's played a shot. But my goodness me, if we see it from uh, the stump camera here, it's not, uh, it's not gone high, he's run into the shot. 
Look at that appeal. He's very confident it was going to hit the stumps, as is the woe of Ian Robinson. He takes a long time to make up his mind for LBWs. I have to say, I thought the finger might have been going up. It was my first reaction. Well, a big swing here. And lucky to get away with it, really. It was done on width, but uh, throwing one wide of the off stump. But uh, Razak really throwing the kitchen sink at this delivery. I think this was more a, a feeling of desperation. He's launched into this. His foot is nowhere near the ball. Oh, should be two here. It's a big outfield, this at Chester Street. Pakistan's 50 is on the board. This is close and is out. While James Brinkley in the previous delivery tried to bowl one straight and go away from the right-hander, he was worked through mid-on. On this occasion, Razak missed the ball and that was very plumb. It's been a struggle for Razak, really. Experience, but good bowling by Brinkley. Bowled it very straight and, well, Doug Carey, the umpire from New Zealand, no doubt about it. Abdul Razak, 12 from 52 deliveries. Batsman is a uh, vastly experienced campaigner, Salim Malik. And this is another big appeal and another wicket. Salim Malik playing all round a very straight delivery from Gavin Hamilton. So he has failed to get off the mark. And Salim Malik, the very experienced middle order batsman, playing his first match in this uh, World Cup, is out. See from the replay here, pitch is on. He's played uh, a shot through mid wicket and he doesn't want to look at the umpire because he knows for certain that the finger's going to go up. Sally Malik faced only three balls, didn't get off the mark. Big tonic for Scotland, Pakistan 68 for four. And Scotland have had uh, rather a good day so far in this Tote Sport League Division 2 game. Here we go. First of all, that was the end of Craig Rapp, LBW, very early on. Yeah, there's a little bit of swing early on with the new ball. I see, but it's just gentle, medium pace, but the ball's swinging in nicely, and it's dead straight, is that one. He's a big lad, he's six foot four, he's a policeman. There's he's another one, that was the end of Anthony day. McGrath. Brilliant day for him. Another bit of a juggle there. <laughs> As he's back there in the uh, mid-wicket position. Ah! Now, that was the best of the catches for me, Bumble. I don't know what you thought. Yeah, it was.